But like, if it, it then if he's not afraid, then it really must be about negotiation, unless it's more about I really want to control my legacy. I now have a chance to retire unbeaten, be with the Mayweather of MMA and all that. Hold on, we should we should we should tackle this argument about being afraid just for a second. I don't want to get too far off course, but just to make the point, you have to like you have to understand when someone is accused of ducking. Could there be cases where someone is afraid of the other person? It could be. But that tends to really not be something where guys are professional fighters for a living, including those as accomplished as John Jones. It doesn't cross their mind in the sense of there's a bully in the schoolyard and I'm scared to go outside. No one think, no one with half a brain anyway thinks of it on those yeah. terms. What we think of is he's an aging talent trying to mitigate risk while maximizing reward, and he has to make a calculation about the best way to go through with that, which is why we also said we kind of understand in a vacuum why he might want to fight Poetan. Nevertheless, it's about the abdication of responsibility, not the accusation of fear. They are very, very different things. What do you think about what I said? That it's not fear of physically fighting him. Yes. It's fear of what he's risking oh, to potentially the, take the that loss. Is, that is, the, that that's is exactly it. correct. Like, tell me if I'm crazy, but John has been through so much shit outside the cage and put the UFC through much that it's a miracle that he's where he's at right now. Still basically undefeated, two-division champion on the verge of... Becoming, you know, without even a question, the goat, like cementing it rock underground. Well, I don't, think, believe, I don't think beating Stipe gets him very far. I want to talk about that a little but bit. But you have to believe part of John is like, holy shit, I'm here after all that shit. And I'm still doing that shit, unfortunately, year to year and, and things that are compromising me. I think he more than ever wants to carefully control his exit narrative as carefully as possible. That doesn't mean physically afraid of somebody. That means is that going to that risk, that chance, that payday going to be worth it? Would you say he's one of the few guys that seems to value that very highly, Luke? Yes. In terms of how they're remembered and all that. Yes. Maybe that's why Dana's playing to his ego so much. And I think again, if if it is public negotiating, then Luke he has a fear that he wouldn't get paid right. Yes. Why don't they just go to him and, and squash that now? Okay, let me read a series of names to you and tell me if Mayweather fought them on time, early, or late. Okay. Juan Manuel Marquez. It was a surprise that they kind of fought and they did like a catchway thing. So I, I don't think I, neither, neither. Shane Mosley. Late. Although you, but you have to throw in the fact that Mosley could have fought him years earlier, but said he needed dental surgery. But at the time they know. fought, late. late. Victor Ortiz doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Miguel Cotto. Late, but because Cotto is a legend and put forth a great performance where he won four rounds against Mayweather, it became on time, but at the time it was late. Uh, Robert Guerrero doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Canelo Alvarez. Early, Early, but Floyd gets all the respect, all the all the credit. Two fights with Maidana, right on time. Right I on think. time. Yeah. Pacquiao. Late. Andre Berto. Wasn't a necessary fight. Conor McGregor. Okay, after the fact, yes. Because if he would have fought Berto, he was going to fight Berto, but Victor Ortiz yeah. upset him. Okay. Conor McGregor, which he fought a prime Conor McGregor, but yes. not a boxer, and then count. tension Nascawa. My point is, I just read you fights that extended all the way back to 2009. He clearly game planned, with some exception, Maidana being a big one, but he clearly game planned to get fights a little bit late in terms of the guy's readiness or a little bit early yeah. in terms of the guy's readiness. Because why? Floyd didn't want to fuck up his record, and Floyd knows how to manage his career very well. Do I think Floyd is afraid of any of the guys he fought or maybe should have fought a different time? No, but he was mitigating risk. That is what John is doing. He is mitigating risk. 